I've heard the noise just like everyone else. I think, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's important for me to, to not spec, you know, comment on any speculation. Uh, right now, I have a job, and uh, we've got work to do, uh, and, and a lot of it. And, uh, you know, we're going to put in forth the effort to do that. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, a tough opponent this week, and then we got to go to IU, and uh, we're going to have to play well. We're going to have to play much better than we did last week, so I'm going to stay focused on that, and I'm very appreciative of the job I have right now. Welcome back in. It's time for the Coach's Corner. That was a coach, Jeff Brown, talking about the possibility of Louisville contacting them for their open position. So, Coach, I got a question for you. Yep. You're coaching a team, and there's a high-profile job open, and you are speculated as a favorite candidate. How difficult is that to coach your team and kind of block out the noise? Very seldom in the coaching profession does the the jobs always seem to come when you, you don't want to take it. You know what I mean? At the least opportune time. When you're losing and you're out of work, you say, boy, now I wish they would come after me. You know? <laughs> but when you're building a program like that, right. right. is, and now Louisville, you got to keep in mind, they're, they're the football family of the state, you know I mean, of the university down there at Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it, it's difficult. I'll tell you, I've gone through that. I've gone through that. you got to rem remember this. When you're hot, you're hot. I know a lot of coaches, myself included, that have turned down situations because I, things were okay, and then all of a sudden you have a off year and those opportunities don't come. So he's got to remember that. The second thing, you're always going to confide in a few assistants. Hey, he, he's brought all, you know, a lot of guys with him, right, from Western yeah, Kentucky, Nicole, yep. all of his guys. So you know there's some confidence on that staff, and he's going to talk to them, and you get their wives involved. And pretty soon, hey, the quickest way to be defeated is to be distracted. And even though it's an opportunity, you can be distracted quick. Coach, coaching at your alma mater, what are the positives and what are the negatives? Um, you know what? The positives, when I went back to Pitt, I can speak firsthand on that. I, I always felt, and I still do to this day, that no one knows more about Pitt football you know, in the workings of it than I do. Mm -hmm. And I know the city, I was born and raised there, so I would be able to talk to the recruits and the players and the administration and the faculty about my days at Pitt and when we won a national championship and how we went about it and the education that I got. I got a master's degree from Pitt. So there were a lot of selling points that I had that way because of my knowledge of being there. The, the, so they just give anybody masters in well, in football. They, well, now, what did you get a masters in? In football, <laughs> coach. Education. I'm, I'm educating all you guys. Okay. <laughs> now, the, the second part of that is, what's the toughest part? You know, the toughest thing that bothered me wasn't the alumni or the recruiting. I mean, I, recruiting is is no more than sales. You got a good product and you believe in it, you're going to recruit good. Mm -hmm. So that that part was easy for me. The toughest thing was, I had so many buddies that I played with at Pitt and I coached at Pitt that now their sons were becoming age, and they all thought that they deserved scholarship. Oh, you're scholarship. getting those phone calls. Hey, coach, my son's uh, ready to go. I, I got some stories now, <laughs> oh, and they call up. I didn't even think and, about that. And that was a tough Crazy. one. That was a tough one. I gave up one ex-player son a scholarship, and I probably told 10 of them, 10 of them, and, and today half of them don't talk to me. Hey, you, should because, get another, uh, you should get another because, job because you know, we have sons. Hey, they, 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 they were good football players, but they should have gone right. to uh, Illinois or Penn State. Not Pitt, you yeah. know what I mean? Wow. Which, wow. Which, which now, I was going to say one of those directions. Uh, oh, so yes. they, were, they were better no, after. No, you go to those SEC schools, school, uh, the, the, the opponents of the SEC schools. You, you know what I'm saying? Hey, have a teammate, and his son calls up, and he wants to come to Pitt where his dad went, you know? And I would love for that to happen, but if they're not good enough, that's a tough one. You gotta be 